By late summer 1942, America's 8th Air Force under General Ira Aker has been in England for three months. But it's yet to make an impact on the air war. None of its planes have flown a mission, dropped a bomb, or fired a shot at the enemy. Britain's Royal Air Force is going it alone in attacking Nazi targets. By contrast, General Aker wants to avoid civilian casualties and advocates an approach called daylight precision bombing. On August 17, 1942, General Aker's strategy is put to the test. The first 8th Air Force daylight bombing mission departs from England, with Aker himself flying in one of the lead planes. 12 B-17s head for the rail yards of Rouen in German-occupied northern France. Aker and the 8th Air Force crews can't afford failure. It's a three-hour run to Rouen. German defenses are caught off guard by the raid, and their response is feeble. With little opposition, the B-17s drop their bombs, destroying a German transportation hub, and then fly back to base, unscathed. The mission is a success. Newsreels capture the triumphant return. For Aker, Ruan validates the goal of daylight bombing. Yes, our target was a marshalling yard and a round house for the repair of locomotives. A very large one and a very important one to the German effort. The initial 8th Air Force raids are small. A dozen or so B-17s, escorted by RAF fighters, target sites in occupied France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. But for the British command, these missions are not enough. They want the 8th Air Force to fly bombers into Germany and inflict damage directly on the enemy. That was the aim of aerial warfare, 